Hey guys, Crixley here, editor in chief with GirlGamer.com, and today I am at Comic Con in San Diego, and I'm actually not only at Comic Con in San Diego. I am sitting here at breakfast with two people. When I say their names, if you don't recognize them by now, you're going to be jealous as f. We have the director. <laughs> of one of my favorite horror films, Hatchet, and then also Frozen, that just came out a couple of months ago. And his lovely recent bride, who played young Victor Crowley, uh, and you all in Hatchet, and you're also in Hatchet 2, yeah. I believe. Is that a spoiler? That's not a spoiler, right? No. Okay. And, and you also did a movie called Saber, which I, I do want to talk to you about. This yeah. is Riley Vanderbilt. And we are gonna have breakfast. Aren't you lucky you get to sit here and watch us eat? What I love about Hatchet, and I know I will see in Hatchet too, is you find this blend, which is hard to come by in horror, where you can find comedy, and you can find comedy in horror, and just horrible situations, like one of the kill scenes I was talking about with, um, with, the, old, with the old lady and her husband. Like, I think that their kill scenes were, were just the most awful out of all of them, but when he ripped her face apart, I just wasn't expecting that. So I was just like, oh, oh, oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> You know, so it's like the first question is when you're coming up with these scenes, like what goes through your head? It's like, okay, I'm going to do this. Um, you know, I get asked that question all the time, like how do you come up with um, horrible kills? And I think people are usually let down when they meet me or see what I look like because they're expecting somebody a lot <laughs> cooler or like more badass Aww. and then it's me. I'm like, hey, it's, <laughs> I, I did that <laughs> <laughs> um, But uh, I don't know where they come from. They just... Uh, it's more just kind of trying to think of what have I not seen before and what's going to take the scene to a ridiculous level. So in Hatchet, um, instead of having like the typical stock and slash where you're seeing bits and pieces of the killer and people are getting bumped off, he just ran right out the front door, stopped, everybody saw him, and then he brutally murdered two people better than I've ever seen in a slasher movie. And that was sort of the goal was how do you like kick the audience in the balls like really hard? And then there's a cut to black and just silence after that which is also weird in the middle of the movie to just cut to black and have it like ring out. And that was because in theaters people would kind of start grabbing their friends and cheering and clapping and they were like, oh my God, did we just really see that? Um, so with Hatchet 2, we tried to take that feeling and, and go even further with it, which of course now has us in a position where I don't think we can even get an R rating. Like this is <laughs> so violent. Talking about Kane Hodder, who's returning in Hatchet 2 now. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. thanks. Um, you know, you, you did something that's a little bit different that and not a lot of people get to see, which is his actual face. Because yeah. he plays Victor Crowley's father in the beginning, but then, you know, you see him later and he's actually Victor Crowley. So what was the reaction when you did, like, the first test screening when people realized it was like, oh, my God, that's Jason? Or, you know, was, did you get, like, an audience reaction? There was, there was a lot of people who didn't even realize that that was him because, right. you know, unless you're, like, a diehard fan, you don't really know what a lot of those guys look like. Um, and then when people would find out, they would be really impressed, because I think Kane's always been an actor, but he had this stigma of a stuntman who lucked out because he got to wear a hockey mask a couple right. times. Um, but he's an actor, and I think he really showed that in Hatchet. And Hatchet too, it's like, an, again, a whole other level. There's there's a lot more flashbacks with, with Mr. Crowley. And um, I mean, he even has a sex scene. And so at this point, like, Kane went from just being a guy who gets hit with things to a guy who like acts on camera, cries on camera, has sex on camera. In fact, I just finished the top <laughs> secret movie that I can't talk about yet where he dances. What? So yeah, I mean, I've really, it's like my challenge, like how can I push this guy to like, but he's so down for it and he's excited that somebody believes in him to give him the chance to do it and, and he delivers. And that's what I love about your casting choices because you know you would cast Joel David Moore in the first one and for those of you that aren't familiar with the name seriously shame on you um, <laughs> but you would know him as Owen from Dodgeball or probably outside of Hatchet. Avatar? Avatar. Well Avatar as well or you know for the gamer kids JP mm -hmm. yeah. from Grandma's Boy. Yeah. So, but at the, so at the time that he had done Hatchet the only things that he kind of had on his resume that, that everybody knew were Grandma's Boy and Dodgeball. So at the end yeah. of at the end of Hatchet, I was like, "You go, Dodgeball boy! You're gonna get the girl! It's gonna be <laughs> awesome!" And then I that see was the, the end, goal, and I though. Was like, Damn yeah. It. How often do you go to see one of these movies and the leading lady and the leading man are two people that you're never gonna be able to relate to because you're never gonna be that? Like when exactly. I used to go see, and it was always like this Chad Michael Murray dude who like take it off his shirt and flexing and being like just this stoic like. 
heroic guy, but take one of us and put us through that movie, and it's yeah. a hell of a lot more interesting. And it was not easy to get Joel cast in that. Like, I, that was a big fight because it was so not traditional. And they were like, well, what about you know the guy from this WB show? And what about these guys? And they all want to do it. I'm like, but this is the guy. Mm-hmm. And um, and then it's been a like marriage with Joel for me in a lot of ways. Um, I mean, we did Spiral together. We did all these short films together. And then the thing that we just did is that, that I can't talk about yet. It's amazing. Oh. Like, yeah. he should win a, an Academy Award. He's the funniest fucking guy alive. No, he plays I, Hitler. I, that's all I can tell you. Like, he plays said, Hitler. Oh, wow. And it is amazing. <laughs> and after you hit him up on Twitter and be like, so, we should talk soon. I, I do want to ask you about Saber because I, I, cause I was like, she's in this thing called Saber. She plays a Jedi. Yeah. Which it's is awesome. pretty awesome in and of awesome. itself. So, yeah. for the fans that don't know Saber, like, what is Saber? Well, Saber is a project that um, Claire Grant and I kind of came up with. Um, we, during the writer strike, obviously nothing was going on, and we were really frustrated because we weren't getting cast in anything. Um, and it's really hard in town, even right now, to even get good auditions for anything because you have so many, like, even movie star actors coming down and doing TV and stuff. So it's really and difficult. And web series now, too. And web yeah. series, the whole thing. And so. We were like, let's just do something ourselves. I'm like, look, I'm probably never gonna be cast in a, in a Star Wars movie. I'm not gonna, but wouldn't it be great if we could do this ourselves? And um, actually, it was Nathan who showed me the Ryan versus Dorkman um, <laughs> video and kind of got my little mind working. And uh, so then we we got this guy involved, and uh, literally, I was just like, babe, and he's like, yeah, and I'm like. Will you shoot something for Claire and I? He's like, sure, what do you want? It's like, a lightsaber battle? And literally, he's just like... She's picked the hardest thing possible. It could have been that, or like, we want to do Journey back to Jurassic Park. And like, <laughs> like, look, what's the budget? <laughs> Nothing. Like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we put it online, and then just, just like, it boom. it exploded. Um, we got like 750,000 hits within like four days. It was like on well, every... chicks with lightsabers and hot chicks with lightsabers. It was, I you. think it's the formula, perfect formula, it works so well. And then um, we wanted to do something else with it. And so I was looking around and I found the Star Wars Fan Film Challenge at Adam.com. And I was like, we have to enter this. And we entered it and lo and behold, they loved it. And we ended up getting two awards for it. Um, Best Action and Audience Choice. Adam Green, Riley Vanderbilt. San Diego Comic Con, Hatchet 2. Check it out, you guys. Check out Frozen. Check out Hatchet. Check out the first Hatchet. Check out Saber. Saber. Check out everything, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Bye-bye.